Hi, I'm Garrett with IDC Woodcraft and I'd like to welcome you to this hot tip video. If you are someone who is using the Vectric software, Desktop, Aspire, Pro, and you want to create some 3D projects, like literally create them, you don't know how. If you don't have Aspire, you can't. Well, I'm going to lead you to a resource that's going to open up your whole 3D world. So I got an email from somebody not too long ago. And unfortunately, I can't declare his name because his email address doesn't have his name in it and he didn't sign it. So you know who you are, uh, just thumbs up to you. Anyway, he led me to a video of Mike Mazelik. Now, Mike Mazelik is another YouTuber that teaches the Vectric software. Now, Mike is quite advanced in this stuff. He's like my mentor when it comes to this stuff. That's how good he is. And that's the kinds of videos he shoots. He did this one video where he took another software, a free software, by the way. And it, it, this free software is a, it's called DAZ, D-A-Z. And it is built for gaming, where you can actually create your own like video games and stuff. So it's got a lot of 3D characters in it and accessories, clothing, animals, other miscellaneous things, a lot of different uh, characters or a lot of different 3D figures, if you will. What Mike did is he showed how you can pull these characters into that platform. Oh, that software is free, by the way. I, I forget, don't know if I said that. But he pulled these characters into the platform. He would like put like fireman's clothes on them or, or a pirate, you know, where you'd have a sword, things like that. And then he would manipulate the figures because they're all built with joints. They're 3D, made for 3D gaming, so you gotta be able to make a move. So they all have joints. Well, you can manipulate those joints in that software. And then, once you have that set, you can save it as a file I think it was OBS file. I can't remember the extension. You'll learn it when you watch the video. And save it to that file and then import it into your Vectric software. And you got the coolest 3D model you've already built. And I got to tell you, Mike walks you through this really well. And when he does the eagle, if you're into eagles, you got to watch this video. Because he manipulated this eagle that's in the software in so many different ways, right? It, it was so, so cool. And then he brought it in the Vectric software. So I want you to go watch that video. And you might as well subscribe to Mike's channel because he's really, 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 really good at this stuff. And he'll walk you through this DAS software, free, how to manipulate the 3D characters that are in it, and there's a ton of them, and they're all free. Of course, you can buy them, but considering what's in there, you probably don't need to, and how to bring it into the Vectric software. So, when, when, when Railroad, that's the email name, uh, sent that to me, and I watched that video, I was like, oh, this is good, I gotta tell you about this. So, the link for Mike's video is down below in the description box. Go check that out. It'll blow you away. Make sure you give him a like and a, a, a thumbs up and a comment, right? Because he did a really good job at it. He took his time at it to really explain it. All right, I'm excited to share this with you because a lot of people ask me about 3D models and what, what they can do with them or how to get them, how to work with them. Well, Mike is going to show you on this one. So another YouTuber who teaches this stuff, you got to subscribe to his channel. You got to watch this video. All right, that's it. Hot tip video. I'm Garrett with IDC Woodcraft and I will talk to you very soon. We'll see ya.